Hello, everybody. It's been a rough weekend for hunting. First night we get up here, we chased a pack of them all around this property. Six square miles, we finally caught up to them, and what happens? Kevin missed. We got in at 5 a.m., fell asleep, woke up at noon, went into town, got some lunch, and met up with George. Of course, George was all like, Yeah, I reckon we're gonna have a good weekend. There's a lot of coyotes, a lot of landowners been seeing them, including some of them big coyotes, steal all their lambs and calves. I'm like, yeah, well, it definitely can't be no worse than night number one. Shoot, we need to kill some of these coyotes. Let's get after them. We go out, made two sets, one about an hour before dark, didn't see nothing. Made a second one right at dark, nothing. As we're leaving the second one, boy, they just lit up. Way out. Far side of this property, I'm like, hey, let's circle them over this big old field and there's a fence line running dead nuts up the middle of this field and i'm like i'm gonna sit on the left you guys sit on the right we get set up kevin does a howl man they lit up again and they weren't far i'm like ha 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 yeah they coming i'm sitting there scanning with that pulsar thermal and i'm like oh i see you way over there come on in i'm watching him and all of a sudden Right in front of me, one runs through the thermal. Oh my god, dang! I get on that light. I couldn't find him. Didn't see his eyes, nothing. Look through that thermal again. He's way off here to my right. Wide open pasture. Of course, there's like eight deer in the field, so I've caught eyes and I'm like, mm, I don't know what that is. Watching them eyes in the scope and all of a sudden it turns and starts running. I'm like, son of a gun, I should have shot. He crossed over into Kevin and George's field. I'm waiting and waiting and waiting, and all of a sudden I hear, <coughs> Kevin, miss number two for the weekend. We regroup, go back to the truck, get in the truck, drive up the road to a small gravel pit where the other coyote that I had seen was headed. We got me sitting looking over the right side, George looking down the center, and Kevin looking down the left side. I did two female howls. Ooh, they went crazy. And they weren't far. After about 10 minutes, I went into TT Coyote Showdown. I'm looking around again in that thermal, and I'm like, oh, George, right in front of you. And apparently, Kevin and George are both running night vision, so I didn't know if they were watching him already or waiting for him to stop, but I didn't move the gun. So that coyote's out there right about 100 yards, standing there in the middle of a gravel pit, and all of a sudden I heard a rock get kicked. Apparently, George... <laughs> Coyotes apparently don't put up with very much noise. So, off they go. No shot fired. Then I had a third one run in. Never came down in the pit. <sighs> Rough night. Rough night indeed. But we're not giving up. We got one more night. And we're gonna kill. Long story short, we sent George Pack and we said, hey, You get out of here. You're just messing all this up. <laughs> No, not really. He's a nice guy. He kills a lot of coyotes, but he wasn't in the right mindset. And by the looks of it, he ate one of my blueberry muffins. <laughs>